Hey everybody, welcome back to another video with your casual keyboard guy. Um, today's lesson is going to be on uh, Anything For You by Lettucey. Um, this video is being sponsored by my subscriber, Brian Hall. Thanks for the donation, my brother. And I'm um, going to uh, we'll play through it a little bit. Then I'm going to jump into it, the tutorial. And uh, like I always say, like, share, subscribe. Show your boy some love. Um, let's get into the tutorial. All right. <clears throat> not too much, not too much going on in this song. They, they, it's a lot of gospel elements in this song, but um, we're definitely going to. Uh, I'm gonna give you some of the tricks that I hear in there, but uh, let's uh, let's let's get into it. <clears throat> Check the volume chat. same thing and the only other difference is when she goes into that the little bridge part she does it twice <laughs> So um, not too much going on in this song. Um, so it starts off with the, the guitar line. I'm going to give it to you just so you can have it. So um, basically, you, you uh, in the key of D, OK? And you're starting off with this. This is like pretty much like a little gospel, little pickup. So um, basically, they don't like an A, B. I'm gonna give you a little extension. Make it really make it really gospel. So it's pretty much you go A, B, D, B, D. And basically you hit that D, um, you're gonna play a chord. But the bass is gonna be A, B, D, B, D. Alright? So you could do it with both hands, but but that last D, you gotta hit a chord. So Okay. So it's gonna be A. First chord is gonna be this D, A D F sharp. Okay. And then the guitar does a line. Got that chord? The guitar does a line. Okay. So that's what the car guitar is doing. But we're just gonna play the first part of that song. Or the first part of the line. We're just gonna do the first three. Boom, boom, boom. We gotta hit the chord. Okay. So that first 
that line is uh it's gonna be D uh F sharp G A and then we're gonna hit uh A minor chord, A minor seven chord over D. Okay, A minor seven chord over D bass, which is a D non sus four. So how that should sound is Stand on that D for the bass for that A minor chord. So for the first chord on that D and then walk the melody. Stay on the D and D over A minor, D non sus four. Okay, got that chord. And then we're gonna go to a G major seven. G B D F sharp or G in the bass. Okay. G B D F sharp. G in the bass, and then we're gonna hit a this B, bring it down to a B flat. And they're gonna make it a G minor major seven. Okay? And the melody is up here with this F sharp. You hear the guitar going. Hitting that F sharp, okay? So this is that last chord of that little part. Okay? G B flat D F sharp with G in the bass. So Stuff you could do in between because it's so much space and one thing that they do um because that's pretty much the the verse too even though it's the intro it's also the verse as well for the most part um you just don't put the melody and you just pretty much pretty much play the chord without the melody do that every time but i just like it because just you know just a nice little feel so one extra thing that they do in the verse uh sometimes they'll do when they hit the uh let me see they'll do they hit this e minor b e g they do that a couple times they'll go when they go back to the d so so instead of doing that bass they'll just go like real quick like a quick passing chord but it's, it's off the same uh, first chord, that D chord we play on, on the first verse, they just hit this E as a pickup, or this E minor. Another little gospel lick. So it's B, E, G, and it goes right to the, to the D. Okay. Like that. And they also do that um, when we go to that G right here. They'll do it here too. They'll go. So it's still a G. It's, 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 a, it's a G major seven, but they just put the sus in there. Because usually when we play playing the chord like this, so basically taking the B, G, and B out, and we're putting the A and it's in the place of it. But it's essentially just like a G major seven. But um, this is how they play it. So I'm gonna show you. So they sometimes they'll go, uh, let me see. Uh whatever she's saying. See that? And then they go back to that G minor major seven. So like I said, this song is pretty much, like I said, they, they, they pretty much got the intro, the melody, and then they got the G major seven, and the G major minor seven, minor major, and then when they go into the verse, they just kind of chill, real chill, mm -hmm. same chords, same chords, and then they might add a little lick. Something like that. Same chords, and then a lick again. And a lot of times when you're holding chords that long, you kind of could play with the chords. So instead of just, you know, you, know, you could then you could play around with the chords that you're holding down. Just hit some different notes. Just still like mess around with it. Like um, one one thing you could do uh, on this melody. Let me see. Something that's different. Add that D7 if you want to play another passing chord over that D just to give you something extra to do. So you got you hit that D7, A, C, D, F sharp, and then of course you go into that G, 
E major seven, or remember that G sus two. Either one, so either this one or play it like that. So um, then the other little change that they do is start on this B minor. You got B D F sharp. Okay, B in the bass, B minor, B D F sharp, and then. What's happening is your bass and your thumb or whatever note you're playing on the bottom of your chord is going to move with the bass. So if you're playing your B on your top chord with your thumb, then your thumb is going to move down with the bass chromatically. So the bass is going boom, boom, B flat, and then it's doing A. Okay, so you're going to do all that. So you pretty much keeping these, this, this D and F sharp in your right hand, and you just going to move this down with the bass. So B flat. Okay, now you're going to go to A. Okay, see how these two stay the same? Okay, and these followed each other. Okay, one more time. Okay, and then you're going to go to an E7. Let's do E9. Do E9. So we're gonna do D, F sharp, G sharp, and B. D, F sharp, G sharp, B. Okay? You're gonna land on this chord. E9. Okay? So one more time. E9 and. And then we want to bounce off of this chord. You're gonna have a G add two. But over the A, it's going to be an A9 sus 4. So G, A, B, D with A in the bass. So you're going. And she back at that part. I will do anything for you. All right, so. Um, so yeah, so back to this part. I will do remember this chord thing for you or you could do any one. So I keep hitting this A up here, but that's a hard stretch. But I'm just making it a, a G minor major nine instead of major seven. See, it's a major seven. You add the nine up top. This is my fingers just doing what I, how I play. Sorry about that, guys. But if you know, if you can stretch, it's a nice chord. All right. So, um, what else? So, oh, so the second time they go to this part, they go all the way down. Watch what I mean. Gonna continue to the A flat. All right. So the second time they go to that part, they go all the way down to the A flat, and then they, they do the same bounce on the A, on the A, nine sus four to get back to the top. All right. So it's the um, like I said, the second time they just instead of going on, instead of doing that. They do um, so instead of doing an E nine, instead of doing an E nine, they just go. Then they go all the way down to this. Um, like I said, the base of your bottom of your chord is just following the bass, same notes. Okay. So um, the only other thing they do is when they're in the chords. I forgot about this part. Uh, So sometimes they don't do this chord, okay? Sometimes instead of doing this G minor major seven, they'll just play a regular C like this and then go to the D. So I'll show you. to the C triad, G, C, E, 
so they do that every once in a while too like um like i said they, this song is pretty much the same progression and every once in a while they are throwing something slightly different you know like song um one other change that they do is the third time they go to this part same chords right here they go all the way down and then she repeats it but the second time they do something a little different um they go i'm sorry I'm pretty sure that's how they do it and one thing i forgot to mention um they do got a pickup for this this part this this b minor part so I, i'm sorry i left this out um but hopefully you guys stick to the end of my videos and you you would catch this so basically they do like a walk up like uh before they go to that that this b minor chord the bass goes all right so that's gonna be an f sharp a b flat to b so it's a little bass walk up and they do that every time they go to their part. Boom, 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 boom. And they hit the chorus. But I want to listen to this part to make sure I did that part right. Yeah, this is the part right here. Alright. Make sure I got this part right. Here we go. the third time repeat yeah okay yeah so basically that's what they do like i just said the third time just you know, go through the whole thing and then they go back to this but then they go to that e9 and then they go right to the a it's not such for back to the top so that's pretty much the whole song guys hope you enjoyed this lesson casual keyboard guy signing off like share subscribe show your boy some love um pretty easy song fun song but um there's not too much more you can do with this uh like i said it's just a, like a lot of little little, little gospel little gospel licks little small stuff like that but um if you want some extra little gospel licks and tricks just hit me up on ig and i'll give you some you know so a couple more gospel tricks on this song if you want it a little bonus but uh yeah guys enjoy that one and uh i'll let y'all tomorrow peace